a rose by any other name. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 animated movie characters that were changed in other countries. For this list, we'll be looking at various animated film characters that were changed in some capacity to respect and honor another country's culture. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Oh, you know what you need. Yeah, it's a bad world. The mad world. Yeah, you know what you want. Number 10. Doris, Shrek 2. You may remember Doris as the ugly stepsister and bartender from Shrek 2. Her manly voice is used as a punchline, only this manly voice is provided by two different people. Hey buddy, let me clue you in. There's only one fella who can handle a job like that, and frankly, he don't like to be disturbed. In the United States, Doris is voiced by talk show host Larry King, who is well known for his distinctive baritone. In the United Kingdom, Doris is voiced by English talk show host Jonathan Ross, Believe it or not, this isn't the only cultural difference found in the movie. Everyone who's anyone has turned out to honor Princess Fiona and Prince Shrek, and oh my, the outfits look gorgeous. In the American release, the red carpet host is Joan Rivers. In the UK, this host is voiced by Kate Thornton, who is known for presenting The X Factor and This Morning. Number 9. Mama Coco. Coco. Coco is a beautiful movie, and its title is for Mama Coco, the ailing but kind-hearted great-grandmother of protagonist Miguel. Remember me. And while Coco is a simplistic and catchy name, it needed to be changed in Brazil. There, Coco was released as Viva a Vida e Uma Festa, which roughly translates to cheers or hooray, life is a party. Not exactly an elegant or simple title. The sense that you're not making. The liberties you're taking is my goodness is shaking. That's because Coco sounds a lot like the Portuguese word coco, which means poop. This means that Mama Coco's name was also changed to Ines. We can't very well have a character named Mama Poop now, can we? Fine. Number 8. Sigourney Weaver, Finding Dory. Sigourney Weaver doesn't appear in Finding Dory, but her disembodied voice does. Hello? I'm Sigourney Weaver. Oh, hi, Sigourney! I, I need your help! Won't you please join us? She initially welcomes the fish to the Marine Life Institute, and becomes a bit of a recurring joke throughout the movie. But in international markets, the voice of Sigourney Weaver is perhaps less instantly recognizable. Welcome to the Marine Life Institute, where we believe in rescue, rehabilitation, and release. As such, this little cameo was localized in other countries. The intercom is voiced by no less than a dozen people throughout the world. These include a Mexican astronaut, a French journalist, a German world-class swimmer, a Swedish animal expert, and a Japanese singer. You have to respect the length that Pixar goes to. A friend of mine, her name's Sigourney, once told me that all it takes is three simple steps. Rescue, rehabilitation, and um, one other thing that- RELEASE! Right. Number 7. Jeff Gorvette, Cars 2 Jeff Gorvette has a brief speaking role in Cars 2 and makes a cameo appearance in the third. Hey, McQueen! Over here! Lewis! Hey, man. Jeff! Hey, Lightning! Can you believe this party? His character name is an obvious play on Jeff Gordon, a famous American race car driver who also provided Gorvette's voice. But much like Sigourney Weaver, Gorvette was replaced with more appropriate localized drivers in the international versions. Check out that tow truck, man. I wonder who that guy's with. It's not just the voice that's replaced, but the actual character for some scenes. Some of these racers include Fernando Alonso, Vitaly Petrov, Sebastian Vettel, and Laurent Larcher. This wasn't the first time that the Cars series changed over localization purposes. In the first movie, Lightning's agent Harv is voiced by Jeremy Piven in the American release and Jeremy Clarkson in the UK version. How you doing, buddy? My star client disappears off the face of the earth. How do you think I'm doing? Harv, I can explain. I'm doing great. You're everywhere. Number 6. Bomb Voyage, The Incredibles. Bomb Voyage is a French villain seen at the very beginning of the first Incredibles movie. Bomb Voyage. Ah, Monsieur Incroyable! And Incredible! Buddy accidentally distracts Mr. Incredible from fighting him, and he later makes a great escape by planting a bomb on Buddy's cape. His name is a fairly obvious pun on the French phrase Bon Voyage, but ironically, his name was changed in the French release of the film. 
In the French dub, Bon Voyage is named Fol Amour, which translates to strange love. This is because the second B in bomb is not silent in French, resulting in a name that is both harder to pronounce and not quite as punny. Number 5. Moana. Moana. I am Moana. Throughout much of Europe, the character Moana was renamed Viana due to a copyright issue. The name Moana is a registered trademark in a number of countries, including Poland and Spain. As such, the title of the movie was also changed to Viana in these markets. I am Viana. But Italy has a far more hilarious reason for changing Moana's name. In Italy, the movie was released as Oceania to allegedly avoid confusion with a late Italian adult film star named Moana Pozzi, who often simply went by Moana. While Disney stayed quiet on the subject, the film's directors reportedly confirmed that the name was changed due to Pozzi. We guess Disney didn't want Italian children googling Moana and finding that. Number 4. The Hockey Players – Inside Out Believe it or not, the sport going on inside Riley's father's head changes depending on the locality. With a nice pass over the reef, comes across that right. In the American version, her father is thinking about hockey. This makes sense considering he's from snowy Minnesota. You get out there, you be aggressive. But in other versions, her father is actually thinking about football or soccer if you prefer that name. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense. According to Pete Docter, they made this change to reflect football's popularity in non-American countries. However, he also admits that some football-heavy countries didn't take kindly to this change as they believed that hockey made more sense within the context of the character and the narrative. I miss home. <laughs> I miss Minnesota. Number 3. Rochelle. Planes. We know Rochelle is the pink and white airplane from Quebec. As you can probably imagine, her nationality and paint job were changed in international versions to more accurately reflect a given country's heritage and personality. Ah, you are the snowplow, oui? Eh? Ah, you could say that, yes. And I am the ice. Yes. In Brazil, she's blue, green, white, and yellow and named Carolina. In Germany, she's black, white, yellow, and red and named Heidi. In Italy, she's green, white, and red and named Azura. And in Russia, she's white, blue, and red and named Tanya. And while she still retains the name Rochelle in the Australian release, she was repainted red, green, yellow, black, and white. Why don't you go plow yourself, El Chew Toy? Number 2. Minty Zaki, Wreck It Ralph. Minty Zaki! Sugar Rush's Minty Zaki is named after the esteemed Japanese animator Hayao Miyazaki. Miyazaki is the co founder of Studio Ghibli and director of the Oscar winning Spirited Away, among many other movies. Some countries have done their own twist on the Minty Zaki pun, including Brazilian Portuguese Mentazaki and the Romanian Mentolatazaki, whereas other countries dropped the Miyazaki nod in favor of more straightforward mint related name puns. These include the Dutch Minty Snow Pie, the Finnish Mintu Pastili, and the Icelandic Mintapia. And then there's Poland and France, who broke with tradition and named her Bato Nugat and Suzette Alanis, respectively. Her French name comes from Suzette, the French word for lollipop, while the Polish one comes from nougat. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The News Anchors – Zootopia one of the funniest gags in Zootopia is the Zootopia News Network, which features news anchors with punny names. Meanwhile, a peace rally organized by pop star Gazelle was marred by protests. In the US, Canada, Germany, and France, the anchor alongside Fabienne Growley is Peter Moosebridge, a play on news anchor Peter Mansbridge. He's still a moose in the UK version, but is named Musos Alexander, who takes his name after Vassos Alexander. Her predecessor, Leodore Lionheart, denies any knowledge of her plot, claiming he was just trying to protect the city. However, this anchor is totally different in other countries. In Australia, he is David Koalabel. In Japan, he is Michael Tanuyama. And in Brazil, he's a jaguar named Oncardo Boicha, a play on Ricardo Boicha. That's the best one, aside from Peter Moosebridge, of course. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here. Yeah.
I'll take your hand I will break your reality